everyone. Welcome to our Facebook Live, <clears throat> all about Halloween fun. We're talking Yay. all about the holidays. Yay! Does Halloween make you excited? Yeah. How excited? That excited? Super <laughs> duper excited? Mm -hmm. Wow, teachers are super duper excited about Halloween as well. And if we're not, we're going to pretend to be because this is what <laughs> We have. Mm -hmm. uh, hey guys, Tony here. It has been forever and a day since I've been on Facebook Live with you. Unfortunately, my allergies are starting to kick in and of course teaching all day today. My voice isn't what it should be, but I apologize about that. If you're new here and you're watching, pop in and say hello. Say hello to me and my little gal, Reagan. Mm -hmm. She's my Facebook Live buddy. Uh, my name is Tony Mullins, and I'm a first grade teacher from Eastern Kentucky. And my priorities go like this. Faith, family, first grade. That is it. I love the alliteration there. Faith, family, first grade. Strangely enough, this is my first year teaching first grade, and my little gal Reagan is also in first <laughs> grade. Uh, before any of you ask, she's not in my classroom this year. She has a wonderful teacher. That she loves very, very much, and we are learning this first grade thing together. So pop in and say hello. Say hello, and where are you watching from? I haven't got to speak to you in forever. Lots of you used to join me every week for Facebook Live, and I'll explain in a little bit why that has not been happening. So just say hello. Let's see your name and see where you're coming from today. I'm sure you're exhausted. It's Thursday. We have one more day this week, and we've got this thing in the bag. We can do it. <clears throat> but I want you to know that high priority in my life is to spread joy to other teachers because I want you to enjoy what you're doing, and I want you to spread that impact to your students. So that's why I'm here. That is why I show up for teachers on my podcast, on my blog, and here on Facebook Live uh, not so much, but I'm going to get back to that. So I want to spread joy in the classroom by sharing encouragement, classroom management strategies. We all need those all the time. If you have them, share them with me. Yay, we have some friends popping on right again. Hey there, hello, good to see you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for saying hello. Um, anyway, so that is why I'm here to spread joy and some strategies with you today. We're talking about Halloween. If you like Reagan's hat, be sure to give a thumbs up. Hey, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for joining, guys. Um, Reagan is wearing a hat. I'll be sharing a link for that in just a few minutes so you can grab that absolutely free for your students. Uh, she designed Frankenstein, a big spider. Happy Halloween. Um, that's one of the things I'll share, but we're going to talk about Halloween management and learning and fun tonight. And anytime that you comment or you like, you are entered to win a free set of Halloween WordWorks. So if you're not familiar with my WordWorks program, that is a phonological and phonemic awareness program that you do every day with your students for 10 minutes. It is all those essential reading skills and uh, you can win that tonight to keep some of the Halloween learning going on through all the hype and excitement of candy. And for real, I've got kids sliding papers under the door. Okay, just so you know, guys, there are four children in my house <laughs> and Reagan's with me. Daddy apparently is not doing his job of keeping the other ones contained <laughs> because they're knocking on the door and they're sliding pictures under. <laughs> Very, very typical. Okay, so let's get talking. Uh, but just as a life update. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will. Just as a life update. Uh, I've not been here on Facebook Live, but I always, 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 if at all possible, do my podcast. So if you are looking for weekly encouragement and strategies and tips, Join us on the podcast. It's called Primary Teacher Friends, just like here on our uh, Facebook group. And you can catch some encouragement. You can catch some strategies that you may use. And the best thing about it is that you can listen. Hi, guys. You can listen 
while you're driving. You can listen while you're putting your makeup on. You can listen while you're running after your, uh, how old is Braxy? 11 month old. Okay. <laughs> we got an 11 month old here and you can listen while you're running after him. Whatever you want to do. Podcasts are very, a very, very wonderful resource for teachers because we can learn and get better when we really don't, even when we don't have the time. So, all right. So, uh, always comment to enter for WordWorks Halloween edition. That's 10 days. I just updated that. I'm going to show you that tonight. But first, let's talk about some Halloween classroom management strategies. So, we, okay. But first of all, I'm so, so sorry. Reagan wants to give you a quick update about her. Reagan, what exciting is going on in your life? Well, actually, two things. Two things. I got my ears pierced. Okay, ears pierced, looking fancy. <laughs> and I got my and I got lost a tooth. You lost a tooth last week. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Mm. No, that's all. That's all. So. That's big news for first grader. Lost tooth, new ears pierced. Yay! Okay, so let's talk about some Halloween management tricks. I'm going to show you some tricks I've used. I've also got some ideas I've not implemented just yet, but I will be using in the next two weeks. So uh, maybe give them a try to keep your students under control, to get them focused on learning, and to keep your sanity intact as much as possible. Okay, so first of all, I want you to meet my friend. This is my wonderful little friend. This friend is so shy. Her name is Itsy Bitsy, and she only likes to sit with the sneakiest kids. Itsy Bitsy is scared of loud noises, and she likes to see kids who are working hard. She likes to learn from them. See her eyes? She uses her eyes to watch their work. She loves neat handwriting. Oh, Itsy Bitsy, she loves what I love. She loves what I love. She loves what you love as the teacher. And you can use a friend like Itsy Bitsy in your classroom, in your classroom management, to keep students focused and learning. So, notice how I use the language there. It's all about the language with our students. If we're excited about it, they will be excited about it. Have you ever noticed that you can... Um, Totally, totally play anything is amazing with your primary kids because you're amazing to them. And if you think it's amazing, wow, it must be amazing. If Miss Mullins thinks this little spider, which came from the Dollar Tree, by the way, one dollar, if this little spider is amazing, Miss Mullins thinks that, it must be true. And boy, oh boy, do I want Itsy Bitsy to sit at the desk with me. So that is just a little trick that you can use. I bring Itsy Bitsy in around this time. And I will keep her in the classroom at any time that it's getting loud. I'll say, uh-oh, let me find a friend for Itsy Bitsy to sit with. Works like a charm. Love Itsy Bitsy. Okay, so another thing that you can use are Halloween brain breaks. Have you ever bribed your kids to stay focused in order uh, to earn a brain break? If you've not, then you're not using this strategy properly, okay? Boys and girls... I was searching on YouTube last night, and you would not believe it, but I came across the most amazing brain break ever. It was so, so cool. It had all these cool Halloween characters. I saw a zombie on there. Whatever it is, okay, I'm totally making this up. Or it was such a cool song about Ghostbusters. That's one of the favorites in my class this week is the Ghostbusters dance. But you can use Halloween-themed brain breaks to help keep your students focused. If we get through our work, we do our neatest handwriting. If we put our papers so neatly in a pile when we're finished, whatever your goal is, insert it there. We will do this awesome Halloween brain break. It will work, friend. You think I'm crazy. But you can use anything to your advantage with the right language. Halloween brain breaks, hop them up, use them as a management tool. Okay, so another thing I love to use at holiday time because I'm kind of lazy and sometimes it's hard to plan all these wonderful, fabulous holiday related crafts and all those things. I love to do the directed drawings from YouTube. Uh, there's one channel in particular called Art for 
Art for Kids hub, and they have dictated drawings for anything you're looking for at any ability level. So we're talking preschool level, whatever you whatever you need, they have it there. So I like to use dictated drawings as a management tool. And it's just like the brain breaks, boys and girls. When we finish this work or we finish this process or when I see that your hallway behavior has improved, we will come in the classroom and I will let you, the students, choose a Halloween dictated drawing and we will complete that instead of doing blah, 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 whatever else. And there doesn't have to be anything else. This can be in one of those five minute pockets of time that you have extra in the day, okay? You can find them any length. You can find five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever time you need to fill and use this as a reward for your kids. They love the directed drawings. It's so, so simple. All you need is paper and a pencil and crayons and there you have a wonderful classroom management reward. Okay, another thing is when your kids are chatty, you can turn on a Pandora Halloween music channel. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much for commenting. Everyone that comments today is entered to win uh, a set of Halloween WordWorks, a full set, just updated, brand new. It's got Google Slides, all of that. So let's go back. Thank you for commenting. I wanted you to know that you are now entered to win that. Um, so your class is very chatty this time of year. They can't help it. There's the candy. There's the excitement. There's fall. Everything that we had to look forward to. But if they're really chatty and you want to quiet them, you can use a free Halloween Pandora channel. Turn the volume way down. And this, what it does, is you tell your students, I can't turn the volume up. It has to stay here. So we have to stay really, really quiet if we want to hear the Halloween music. And so if there's an activity, maybe you're writing, you're trying to build some writing stamina. Boys and girls, as long as we're writing quietly, you'll be able to hear the Halloween music. And so that is a way to keep your, your students calm and quiet. And they want to hear those cool Halloween songs. We like to listen to them yeah. in the car, don't we, Reagan? Mm -hmm. So... That's another way. And one more thing, if you have ever listened to my podcast, you may have heard that I use table points. Table points is a management strategy where your different tables or desks or rows are competing against each other. And so I used that and I decided to spice it up with some characters. So now instead of table points, we're doing Halloween character points. So in my classroom right now, I have four tables and I have four characters. Right, you can hold your set. <laughs> so we have skeletons, ghosts, mm -hmm. spiders, and mummies. Mummies. And instead of giving table points, I give character points. Which character is all done and all cleaned up and has their ready signal on their desk? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, it's the ghosts! The ghosts get a point, and at the end of the day, the ghosts receive the prize. They receive the reward for uh, being the having the most positive behaviors that day. I love table points because it focuses on positive behaviors. So if you've never used table points, maybe jump over to the podcast. Uh, leave me a comment if you need to know the episode to listen to, and I'll try to find that link for you. But if you use table points or if you've not used table points, Try character points. Character points, they love to be called the spiders, the mummies, the skeletons. All you have to do is print a little picture off of Google and you have some classroom management at your fingertips. Okay, so let's move on from management over to the learning, the Halloween learning. It's so easy for, for everything to get crazy and for us to get distracted with all the Halloween that we lose focus on our academic goals. We do have to take these kids and move them academically and to help them reach their goals. So like I said, it's easy to get distracted from that, but we must not, we must stay focused. And so we have to use Halloween in our favor during learning. So uh, think about uh, your students and their love for Halloween and find ways to incorporate that into whatever you're teaching. 
So the management, of course, is a great way to do that. Uh, there's lots of read-alouds and poems this week. Uh, my classroom poem is Five Little Spiders. Five Little Spiders Crawling All Around. The first one said... Look at the bugs I found. Okay, I can almost memorize it. We've only read it two days. But I can almost memorize the poem. So you can use poem and different literacy things like that. You can use it in writing, writing activities. What's your favorite Halloween candy? And this is how we form a sentence. And this is how we put finger spaces. All of those things are a great way to incorporate Halloween, but to still stay focused on learning. And now I want to show you the word works, the updated word works. Now, this is what I'm giving away. So if you've commented or liked, you've already been entered to win. I'm going to give two live winners and two replay winners. So if you're watching the replay later on YouTube or Facebook, wherever you are, you can comment to enter to win from the replay. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you this is first grade. And I'm going to say beware because I'm not sure how loud the sounds will be on your side of things. But this is also available in a kindergarten version. The kindergarten version is formatted very, very much like this, but it's simpler and more geared towards the smaller students. So I do WordWorks with my class every day. My first graders love it. And I told them earlier this week that boys and girls... We, okay, so we're on the superhero set. That's set number two. We're going to stop our superhero word works next week. I'm so sorry to tell you that. I really hate to tell you, but we're going to have to stop doing our superhero word works. And they all freaked out. They're like, Miss Mullins, but why? We love it. And then I'm like, it's because we're going to be doing Halloween word works. So this word work set has two weeks worth of daily instruction. And so this is going to take up the next two weeks of our regular word work spot. And then we'll jump back into set number two whenever we end our Halloween. So I'm going to show you how it works. This is pulled up on your interactive board. Now I'll say that kindergarten has a printable version. This is first grade. It does not. It is digital. There's an old, old Halloween version, but nothing like what you see here. So just beware of that. I recommend that you use the PowerPoint version. It's also available in Google Slides, but if the internet's glitchy at all, it relies on the internet. So we start with our sentence work, and I say, boys and girls, let's have our listening ear. And they say, listening ear, listen to my sentence. Are you scared of big spiders? And they repeat, and we talk about punctuation. This is a great time to also count words if maybe your first graders don't have that concept of spoken word down. And we decide that this is a question mark. And so we all say together, question mark, question mark. And like I said, it may be loud. Let me click this. There's going to be a sound. Um, so from here, we'll read our sentence. And this is what I love the most. Boys and girls, this is a question. That's why there's a question mark. How could we change this sentence to instead make it a period, a statement, instead of a question? So this really challenges your higher level learners, okay? They can figure out the, hey, I got to switch words uh, and take away the are you and make some other words. Uh, I am scared of big spiders, okay? So once they've changed that over, then you can also say, well, how do you change it to an exclamation sentence with an exclamation mark? And we talk about how our voice gets inflected at the end and what that would sound and what that would look like. So at the end of each skill, there is a quick brain break. Here we go. tell my students you can do whatever you want as long as your bottom stays on the floor because we do this on the carpet and you don't touch anyone else of course so <laughs> we're staying distance our bottom stays on the floor you can dance you can wiggle you can laugh you can sing whatever you want but when the music stops so do you all right here is a phonemic awareness activity this is the word corn say corn 
Let's see how many sounds in corn. 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 There's three sounds. Where's the k sound in corn? Which box has the k sound? Hey, yeah, and they come up on that. Okay, you know where the k sound is. What sound goes in this box? Or the last sound? N. Corn. Corn. I have to remind my students not to say the letter names that we're, we're focusing only on sounds. This is that phonemic awareness. Remember, phonemic awareness really indicates how a student, how successful a student will be in reading. I'm so excited to share this with my class on Monday. All right, some other skills in, in uh, the first grade set. Our blend and break, where uh, this is phoneme blending, and uh, I forgot what the word is. Uh, we have to count the sounds in mummy. There's four. And what I love about the first grade set is that there is phonics embedded. So if I want to talk about the word mummy and what uh, letter makes each sound, it lets me have opportunity to talk about things like this double M here. And this Y, this letter Y, that's hard for country folks to say, <laughs> letter Y at the end, that has actually makes the E sound. So it just gives opportunity to discuss and talk about different phonics, rule, phonics rules and different words and the way they're formed. And <laughs> Talking too much, guys. And one of my kids' favorites is syllable slice because I uh, take advice from my friend Susan. We stand up and we hop out the syllables. So this routine is very, very kinesthetic if you let it be. I have different motions for almost everything in it. I have a training about phonological awareness where you can learn a lot of those motions and make your instruction more kinesthetic. <laughs> But once we count the syllables, cookie, we hop it out, we clap it out, we say two syllables. And then we go to the next one. And I love this part where my students get to think about the syllables and decide where does the word cookie get split. And Alrighty, and so um, you can get a full free trial, a whole day of this free. If you'd like that, comment and say uh, anything you want. Say free trial, say me please, whatever you want, and I will get you that free trial. And you can give it a try yourself and see if you like it. So, that is a good way Oh, the skeleton hand. Okay. Yeah, we'll show that just a second. Okay. Thank you. Yes, I will send you that. I will send you guys that link. I will reply with that link as soon as possible. All right. And I wanted to end today with some Halloween fun. Some Halloween fun. Of course, hats are always fun for your students. Kristen, my uh, five-year-old, one of my five-year-olds, I have two now. <laughs> one of my five-year-olds colored this one Reagan colored this hat and it's just a way to add some Halloween fun maybe the day before your students dress up they can make these hats or as a reward maybe they can make the hats mm -hmm. going back to classroom management yeah. uh, that is absolutely free uh, you can find that at teachertony.com forward slash Halloween I will I will add that link uh, to this post that way you can find that i thought i could comment on it but it won't let me for now um so also at that same teachertony.com forward slash halloween you can find this cool coloring project and i just printed out the h and one of the n pieces but when you uh give your students a page they color and decorate it mm -hmm. cut it out it makes a full huge really big mm -hmm. coloring project banner it's a big happy halloween banner it will span pretty much the whole length of your classroom and it makes a great decoration and it's just so super fun for your kids to collaborate on that and decorate that and have that as a decoration in your classroom that is also absolutely free so make sure you grab that 
And before we go, Reagan wants me to show you one more trick that I like to use for management. <laughs> These are skeleton hands. Skeleton hands. Both of them were one dollar at the yeah. Dollar Tree, and this is what I like to do with them. Uh, okay, boys and girls, let's make sure we're focused because as soon as we're done with our word works today, I'm going to choose one student to give me a skeleton hand high five. <laughs> skeleton hand high five. That means I'm going to hand you one, and we're going to high five. Are you ready to try it, Reagan? Yeah. Oh, is that fun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll tell you something else I like to do with these. Um, is it like a hand check? Boys and girls, when, you're, when your work is complete, give me a ready signal. And I'm going to come around. If your work is neat, I'm going to give you a skeleton head scratch. Oh. Okay. Uh, kids love uh, silly things. <laughs> so, this is silly for a skeleton to come and touch you scratch your head um and so that is just a great motivation so remember to be silly with your kids it will bring them joy and it will bring you joy but that is all for today thank you guys for joining me for my first facebook live back at it i'm uh, so happy to be back and to have teacher friends like you that support what i do and that uh, are passionate enough for teaching that you would show up here and try to learn and to be better I highly recommend you join me on the podcast uh, that is very curated and, and planned content each week that I spend a lot of time on, and I'd love to uh, see you hop over there and listen. Okay, and Reagan has one more thing to say. Uh, this is, you know what happened at school today? <laughs> okay, we're not going to tell the school story. What happened at school today? Okay, yeah, tell them what happened at school today. A dinosaur was chasing a walking hot dog. <laughs> okay, let me translate. A dinosaur was chasing a walking hot dog <laughs> at school today. Our lunch ladies put on a charade. There was a big blow-up dinosaur costume and a big hot dog costume. And the dinosaur chased the hot dog. <laughs> And just so you know, at the end, we had hot dogs for lunch at school today. So, <laughs> Reagan wanted to tell you that. Okay, teachers, be joyful, be happy, enjoy what you're doing. Spread that love and impact to the little people that you love. And I will see you soon. Bye. Bye.